hello guys so welcome to Kio tutorials so in this tutorial we are going to model a toy scooter in Maya so we are going to start with one tutorial on Maya so let's get started so very first of all let's take a reference over here let's go into view image plane import image let's go to the desktop and let's take this image over here and open this image over here after opening this image so let's just scale this image over here push it behind push this up so how we are going to start is like first let's take a plane over here so what we'll be doing is we'll be just starting up from the top section so let's take a cylinder over here I'll be taking a cylinder part I'll rotate it and let's just push this up and reduce its radius over here So after doing this part over here, just select this and let's go into mesh tools and let's add one edge loop over here and one edge loop over here. After you are done, let's go into the vertices, just push this over here just push this over here select the faces editable mesh go into the extrude option or you can directly just give a extrude over here and keep faces on thickness you can just give a bit of thickness and click ok okay much better select this press G and keep faces on and click OK that's it so once you're done with this now what we'll be doing over here is like we'll be going over here again let's go to the top view over here and let's again take a cylinder over here so after taking a cylinder so just push this up just reduce its radius a bit and so select this both push this up and we can ok 0 0.1 0 0.3 0 0.2 so once you are done over here now you can just push this up again over here so let's go into the mesh tool insert one edge so just select this editable mesh just give a bit of extrude over here and just select this exclude this and again extrude this down just push it down till here so once you just push this down till here now again go into this view over here and 
again give a one edge loop over here one edge loop over here so select again the polygons over here editable mesh extrude it and just scale it from the top that's it so select the vertices just push this up till here and definitely we will be pushing this more up select this push this up after that so let's save your file once let's go on to the desktop just save your file after that what we'll be doing over here is like we need to create this panel over here for that panel let's take a box over here let's take a box over here so again take a box so after taking a box over here just push this over here you can just push this down more scale it a bit so let's go into this view select the vertices and just scale it or else you can increase it more and just decrease it from down over here so just push this a bit out and duplicate it so before we duplicate it what I'll be doing is like I'll be adding a loop over here so just duplicate this by pressing ctrl D over here so let's go into this view over here so just push it in this way so let's just push it out push this out and go into mesh select this both mesh and give combine after combining it you can just select this edge shift select this and let's give a bridge option over here so once you assign a bridge option so this will get joined over here so after joining this so you can just scale it if it is required now let's take this making a circle so for that let's take a cylinder over here let's take a cylinder over here scale it so how we'll be doing it over here is like I'll be just scaling this stuff and I'll increase its segments select its edges go into this and give bevel so you can just give bevel to it you can increase its segments you can give such shape over here that's it so select this from this view over here go into this and just give extrude and let's give a bit of 
offset over here press G repeat last command press R and scale so you can just again give extrude a bit so you can just scale it in this way so subtract this and if you want you can just push it inside over here in this way again editable mesh extrude it just give a bit of offset over here so again select this all over here now what I'll be doing over here is like just exclude this all editable mesh extrude R scale it and you can just push this out the same way you have pushed this element out the same way you have to do this also so we'll go into this view again again take a cylinder over here so let's go into this just increase its height so let's take a cylinder over here so let's just push this over here so select the vertices just push this out till here that's it and let's again go back to the object mode save your file so we can just select this area over here So let's again use one edge loop over here. Select the polygons over here. So what I can do over here is like I can go into this side view over here. and we can just extrude it down 
editable mesh and just give extrude over here oops all right so we can just zoom this stuff over here and vertex will go down over here in this way. all right so let's save your file so what I can do over here is like I can just select this and you can just rotate it if you want you can just combine and rotate it not a problem so just save your file for now over here so if you look at this so you can just push it in this way all right so definitely we'll be continuing with the same part also the rest of the part of the oil tanker container will also will be continuing it after that so thanks for watching this tutorial